Hey, ladies. Hey. Welcome back. Happy New Year. Happy oh, New Year. I'm so excited to see you all. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Huh? Shana never ready for her. Yeah, Shana <laughs> always has a surprise for us. Now, you didn't show us that earlier. No. <laughs> uh-uh. I see you over there. Y'all look so beautiful. With the 17 cele- uh, congratulations and yes. this message oh, that she can get her this morning. <laughs> well, y'all look great. You ladies look beautiful. And welcome, Thank welcome you, to you our as well. Heartbeats. Yes, yes, yes. Season two, episode 27, Year of Fuego. Woo! Woo! Fuego, Woo! baby. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Yes, it's so great to see y'all. Wow, what a year, what a year. What a year 2020 was, how we started this podcast. And now here we are in 2021, starting season two, episode 27. We had a bonus episode. Episode 26 was our bonus, mastermind groups, how to start a mastermind group. So what a way to start the year there, but then just bringing the fuego for the entire year. So we are going to talk about setting intentions. It's me and Shauna sit here and dance. And Jeanette, y'all have to watch this video. Let me Heart tell y'all, it's 20- Jeanette is looking at us like, what in the world? It's 2021, but your girl is still pregnant. And <laughs> Give me a couple yeah. weeks and I'll be dancing. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So well, by the time this airs, you're going to be really close, Jeanette. We're yes, so yes. excited. Yeah, look, who knows? Yes, yes, that's awesome. So yeah, so we're going to just talk about your fuego, of course, and setting intentions for the year. What does that look like for you? And I want the heartbeats out there, our listeners, to sort of think about that for themselves. But I'm going to start with Shauna to, about setting intentions and, and what that means to you and what have you done so far this year in doing that? Yes. Hello, everybody. Hello, heartbeats. So setting intentions, so important any time of the year, right? But especially at this time of the year, just feeling like you're having a fresh start, a new start. So my mantra, I like to do mantras and sometimes I do words too. So last year, my word was flow. And this year, I still need to continue to flow. Um, I just added a few more thought processes to it. So I meditated on it and I came up with for myself, I need to stay the course continue to flow with ease. Mm. I want, I added the with ease at the last minute before we came into 2021, because I felt like something was missing. Like I, I needed to tell my soul, well, how do you want to continue to flow? You know? Um, So with ease gives me a little bit more of an, an intent internally to make sure that I'm working my best to flow easily with the way me and life work together (laughs) in 2021. So that's part of my intentions. The other part is uh, scheduling, you know, scheduling out. I actually scheduled out my year for the first time. My brand is actually in a a little calendar. (laughs) (laughs) I'm proud of myself. That is great. Yes, that's definitely great, Sean. I love that you added, that you expanded it. You said flow was last year, but now you're flowing with ease and you've already started taking the steps to move out with that. So just your your brand, shaunahibbits.com. Yes. yes. So if our audience, our heartbeats haven't heard that yet, you'll get to see that like now or pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Very, very super excited of all the work that you did last year. Just so proud of you, ladies. Yes, Thank yes, you. yes. Jeanette, what about you? setting intentions you've done a lot as well um yeah so for me it looks a little different this year um because every year I'm like very focused on like career and my goals for like you know what I want to do for my business and growing and expanding and um after you know 2020 and just kind of like everybody being set down (laughs) Mm -hmm. and in the house and forced to be with your family right you know like not that we didn't want to be with our family but it forced you if you didn't want to you definitely ain't have a choice <laughs> I hope you liked it. Sure. Like, I loved it but that was the blessing for 2020 that I discovered that I love my family my yes. husband and my kids a lot of people was like somebody come get these fools because I'm done but no like we <laughs> my kids I would say they were not aggravating at all they were they were great they did really good 
despite you know not being able to do as much as they're they're used to doing but um so they handled it well so for me like my intentions is around just really recognizing the season that I'm in right now and what it calls for and not trying to force um other things to happen like mm-hmm. I normally would be like well I'm gonna yeah. focus on business I gotta do this that mm-hmm. so my like word for that. the year is surrender um which goes perfectly <laughs> with my intentions for the year. So right now, I mean, I'm looking at it quarterly. So let's just say the first quarter for sure, I know is just a, completely going to be focused on my family. That's awesome. Maybe that is. Day now, maybe she might be here by the time this airs. Who knows? But um, Kobe. Hey, baby Kobe. Kobe. Yeah. With an eye. Yes. With an eye, yes. But. <laughs> In honor of Mr. Kobe Bryant, my husband was a big fan and he chose that name when he was secretly hoping that I was going to have a boy. <laughs> but two of what a great compromise. Right. Yes. But two of the soon to be seven kids have um, unisex names. So she'll be mm-hmm. the third. So it oh, works. Beautiful. It works for her. So, yeah. So that's me. So that's my intentions. Um, right now, I'm focusing on one quarter at a time. And um, but the first quarter is definitely going to be all about family. But the whole year, I know, will be a lot of um, things centered around focusing on my family. So that's amazing. I love that, ladies. You, you ladies gave. I'm, I'm so happy that you shared your word of the year uh, for this year, and just even looking at 2020 and maybe even previous years of how you've grown and your growth in in that, and not just sharing the word itself, but what the intention is behind it. I think that gives it legs or meat, whatever you want to say to that. Yes. Yes. yes it, it just makes it more impactful. I think. And I think that's amazing. Wow. So for me, my word this year is joy. So I'm going to start with that. I'll start with joy just all the way around how I resonate with it. And a lot of people say, wow, that's a really cool word. What made you choose that? Because most times I'm pretty upbeat and just kind of going along, but I want to find joy in everything. So as we know, 2020 was a hard year for a lot of people. You know, I had some family members that were sick and not doing well. My son being sent home from college because of of COVID and different things. So I tried to do things here at the house that since we were all set down, like we said, I tried to do things here that sparked that joy and that continued it. So midway through the year, it's like, wow, okay, midway through 2020, I started thinking about, wow, what would kind of this look like, you know, going forward? What are my intentions? And I, I'm thankful to be set down because I was a road runner, beat, beat, just running, 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 <laughs> beep, like beep. all the time. <laughs> beep, beep. That was me, you know, going to my job every day, trying to run, you know, life with the view and doing all the different things. And then right smack in the middle of 2020, we started the heart of chat. And I don't think I would have been able to do any of those things and really harness that joy if I were, you know, out there just yes. doing all the things. But um, I did get the opportunity to see my son, you know, play basketball for his college at the beginning of 2020 and late 2019. So that was great. Just really appreciated that. So just continuing to find joy in a world, sometimes it's just not so positive, but being intentional about it. So Wow. That's going to be what I'm planning for this year. I have a whole sort of vision around it. Um, of course, the heart of chat is on there. My kids, just the life of the view, you know, some future, future goals, some things that I want to accomplish. So just setting those intentions and really, you know, standing by those and sometimes standing behind them, but I want to stand next to them so we can walk hand in hand in this process. So my um let's see my yes. word last year what was my word last oh better finances was my word for 20 oh yes i remember yeah so being able to sit down caused me not to spend any money so i certainly uh, oh, also you're the you reason were in 2020 line 2020 happened yes, yes exactly right. yeah look, look right look she set the intentions for I everybody set it down. nothing you all yeah. gonna save money yeah, that's that's right. Right. when you say, when you yeah. say oh, and, oh, it um it makes me think of like intentional gratitude because mm-hmm. a lot of times, you know, it's easy to re- remember the the negative things and all the stuff that goes wrong and just being intentional about being grateful in everything that happens or shows up or how things come about. Um, that's like, the I don't know, that, that thought came to me when you said about finding joy and everything. It was just, um, just being grateful and finding and being like, being intentional about recognizing things in your life to be grateful for. Yes. Yeah. Really thank you. Things. Yeah. Like I, that I, I, lip is popping. 
Oh, oh, thank you. The joy in a red lip. Yes. <laughs> so yes, I do want to make a note about, I guess, Time Magazine recently had the power of joy. I'm looking at it. It's on my vision board. The power of joy is their title. And it has these people, different colors, background, kind of jump. And that's me all day. Like I jump for joy in the crazy situations. And yeah, sometimes those crazy situations are not good things. Sometimes I get sad or upset about something, but and then, you know, it works through its process, but I try to find joy even before or after or if something kind of comes out of left field, I have to try to deal with it. But one of the things, the power of joy, um, it's a really great cover and the inside, it talks about what you said, Jeanette, about gratitude and such. So if I, I'm going to find it, probably snap a picture and maybe do a quick uh, IG story on it or Ooh. something. Really, really cool. I think it just resonates. So look, after this, I'm going to try to run and go see if I can find, <laughs> if I can get it off the newsstand get some copies of it but yeah for sure so yeah may I add um it's just incredible that that word only has three letters mm -hmm. and how impactful mm -hmm. it is for our lives I've just went back to my Deepak Tuprak abundance 21 day abundance challenge series and I started it last night again and he said to have an abundance lifestyle he starts naming what those things are and the very first word that he named was joy mm, he said that awesome. is part of an abundance lifestyle okay. wow I'm writing that down i've been saying that <laughs> word like it's not my word it's your word but i swear i've been seeing it everywhere <laughs> since you said it <laughs> yes yes i mean it, it's been really cool i mean just the day that i went to the store, uh, I was uh, I was there picking up stuff for the vision board. You know, I had my my coat on, probably my slippers too. I'm I'm just gonna run to the store real quick, and I'm standing in line, and I see this magazine. It has, and I had already chosen my word joy prior to seeing this magazine, and I was like, that's my word. And why didn't I grab more than one? I just grabbed one because I needed it to build the vision board. But it's just I was that solidified it for me right there, just seeing it just in black and white or in color, I should say, because right. it's a color room magazine. And live in color. Yes, for sure, for sure. So how, so in, in terms of, you know, so we talked about sort of the, our words and our intentions sort of resonating with us, being deep within us. Let's talk about, we talk about a lot of this a lot, journaling, right? Because last year we created the Ignite Your Fuego Journal. Mine was right, next so. to my bed. Yay! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So we did that. And when, once you set the intentions, what are you doing? And to take Jeanette, she always says, you know, take action, right? Take action on those. So journaling around your intentions, since I brought Jeanette up, look at me looking in the camera. Y'all have to watch this video too. I'm looking at Jeanette. <laughs> Like, that's going to make her talk fast, look faster. She's lucky because yeah. she knows we record it, so I can't just close my... Uh... Close the shutter. You can do what you feel. You can do what you feel. <laughs> peek in and peek in at her. Yes. I normally do. I have a great picture of that, by the way, y'all. That's going in the IG story of Jeanette peeking behind the shutter. So. <laughs> So what was my question again? Oh, uh, journaling. <laughs> <laughs> <Real life folks. laughs> Look, journaling around your intentions. So we talked about our intentions and what journaling around them, writing them down and such. Yeah. And I think that's kind of how mine came to me was just through journaling. I've been doing a few different people have um, some journal prompts. So I've been using those for um, um, like my morning journaling or evening. And I do a lot of... Um, I do what you call morning pages, which I use. A, I actually use an app for my morning pages when I journal um, with that, which is really cool because sometimes I just don't feel like writing. I can just lay in the bed and just like. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I want to say that um, my intentions came from a prompt that I was doing. Uh, Gigi Renee does her 30 days, 30, what's it called, Linda? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called um, 30 Layers, 30 Days. 30 Layers, 30 Days. Mm -hmm. um, so she does that all, like, regularly. Like, does she do that every month? She does it, like, I want to say know? three or four times a year. Yeah, so mm -hmm. she just started it up for this year. So I've been using some of those prompts. And um, I kind of took to Instagram with that one because I just felt like it was really important um, to share that. Cause sometimes stuff's come out, out in your journal that you want to share. And sometimes it's stuff that you just want for yourself. And you'd be like, I don't want nobody to see this. <laughs> but, 
<laughs> but it because my word is surrender and for me surrendering is more about like um just allowing things to be what they are and not trying to force stuff to happen not trying to control situations and manipulate situations not manipulate in a bad way but you know force things to work the way you want them to work and um so with that i was like okay i know you want to do all the things in your business but your life is not in the a space right now where you can really focus on that and give it a hundred percent. So what do you need to do for yourself? Um, so just, I shared that and I don't know, that's, that's what I did. Journaled about it. And then I shared it with everybody and I started the conversation. <laughs> great. Yeah. yeah. You did, you did great with that. I love that. I love, what about you, Shauna? Journaling around your intentions. So part of my intentions for the year, um, is reflections. Mm. I want to take the time to reflect on my life and I and I feel like it will hold me accountable to be present and uh, as we know when we stay present we in in the moment we are enjoying life at its best and it it alleviates a lot of frustrations or anxiousness and all the other things that we don't want to be a part of because we're too busy jumping into the future or too busy living in the past so such as Jeanette, I was journaling around that and it developed into where I'm like, you know, I'm not the only one that would like to be on this journey. So I started a social media campaign this month on IG and FB and it's a reflection series. And basically on Mondays, I have a mantra post that I put out on Wednesday, I post a question. And then on Friday, I come back for five minutes or less on the video and I answer my own question and it's just digging deep. It's it's only been one week so far and there's so much has come out from it that I've had to journal before, during and after. Mm -hmm. And it's making me really get much deeper into the introspectives of my life, which is what I need right now in order to propel and continue my um, journey. So I got real deep there, but. <laughs> I'm doing it for the whole year. That's awesome. Yeah. Commitment. Thank you. That's amazing. Uh, Thank you. I'm going to do this month because <laughs> <laughs> now you wait. Because I know myself. I be, yes. I'm like that squirrel in the way you see. Like, oh, ooh, let's do that. That's me. That is so me. And people don't think that's me, which I think is hilarious. I'm that squirrel too, but I'm the squirrel to be squirreling around and then I have all her nuts gathered up. Good morning. How are you? Oh, and so, I love that analogy. And all, this, all the nuts, all the nuts, nuts gathered the up behind me. Yeah, and I'm, I'm out here making snow angels in mine. Like, oh, <laughs> yes, I'm telling you, I know, because I'm the same way. Like I'll post something. Hi, welcome back. A life with a view is back and we're doing all the things. And then it's like, oh, where's that blog post? Where'd it go? <laughs> You know, <laughs> that's awesome. I love that, Shauna. Thank yeah, I've, I'm going to work on a lot better just manifesting what I write down. I have a lot of journals, a lot of things. And I laugh at Jeanette because she says all these things that we people have where you take an action, right? And I can tell you this year, just looking, just looking at my desk itself, I probably have or maybe three journals and two planners that are like staring at me like okay what's going to be your main thing Linda what's going to be or how are you going to write your vision you know kind of shout out to Alicia of living over assisting I mean she put together an amazing journal which I'm using this year as my primary journal and one of the first pages is write your vision hmm why is it still blank? You know, because I know what I want to do so it's sort of it, I'm in that kind of um to you, Shauna's campaign, the reflections place of this and writing it down and really getting super clear about what I want. So I, mean, I have stuff every Because it's not something you can rush. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It's not something yeah. you can rush because you feel like, oh, I have to have it done by this time. And I think we might have mentioned this before. Like me and Shauna are kind of on the same schedule where like around October, we're pretty much done with the year. But for me, like my, my year doesn't really kick off to like mm -hmm. February, March. <laughs> Like I'm like getting in the rhythm around February and then March is like, yeah. happy new year. Let's go. In March, I'm ready for my week vacay because I started January because I'm that 90 day girl. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. That's mm -hmm. great. Really yeah. great. So yeah, so Shauna, I always like to, we always pop, try to inject fuego in everything we do. Yes. So how embodying your fuego, and I think one of the notes we had, it says embody your fuego and note that it starts with a spark. 
What do you think about that? What are your thoughts around that? So your fuego, I'm start, I'm going to start in reverse, mm-hmm. is your passion, <clears throat> is your passion. And small sparks will lead you to your passion. So taking note of what, what lights you up inside? What keeps you lit? When you have conversations with people um, and you're speaking about so many different subjects, we, we, we dismiss where we light up at. Mm-hmm. Little different things that we talk about, we're like, we light up. We're, we're a whole different person. When we, you talk to Jeanette about a bookstore, having a bookstore, having her, um, her stationery store rather. And when you hear her speak about it, she lights up. So when you're having conversation with people, take note. This is what I do for myself. I take note of what lights me up. And from there, I start working. I'm like, I want more of that fire. Bring it on, you know, and then you end up getting involved into your passion. So you want to have a fuego year, but it does start with a spark. So paying attention to what's lighting you up. What's, what's getting your attention? What's making you feel free, right? I love that. Yeah, that's great. I love that, Shauna. And Thank so you. we all, Kashana, you've seen the movie Soul, right? Yes. Okay. And it made me think of that because, you know, that was the thing that they got um, before they made their final like decision that they're going to earth now. And so they got their mm-hmm. spark. And the whole time they thought that the spark was their purpose. That was it. First of all, too, this movie was like for adults. <laughs> yeah, was it sure was. Yeah. And you think about, and so they thought that like these talents or these things they love, whether it was a sport or instrument or singing or acting and performing, whatever, they thought that that was like the main character thought that the spark was like their purpose. Mm -hmm. And um, the 20, was it 22? Like she Mm -hmm. couldn't find, she didn't have anything that sparked to make her want to go. Like she was so apprehensive. And the thing that stood out to me is the like outside of the two main character was the barber mm-hmm. remember when he was talking to the barber and he was like well i'm sorry you didn't get to do the thing that you loved and you got you were stuck being a barber he's like oh no i love it because it all led to that and even though it wasn't his initial thing that he wanted to do this thing still brought him joy at the end of the day yes and um i think and that's what it's about just allowing yourself to shift and to let it flow, <laughs> Shauna. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, following those those little things that spark spark joy for you and bring life to your life. You know what I'm saying? So I really, really, really enjoyed that movie. Yeah, that, I did that's too. That's what you think of when you, when you said that. So like mm-hmm. in your year of fuego, looking for those little things that spark joy and whether it's a, a hobby and it's something you want to continue to do for fun, and just really living life and being intentional. Remember all the little things that she was collecting when she was in yes. her body? It was like that first one, that pizza looked good, even in the cartoon. <laughs> it did. I, like, I love I want pizza New York too. pizza. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Yes. You know, the characters look like so York real. Pizza, mm. And bagels. And then the little yeah. um, thing. I used to love those little things. What are they? The little fall off the tree that spin around. Oh, like yeah. The, the little off. spinner. Uh, yes. Yeah. With the have, tip on the end. We have that in Ohio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. And so Shauna talks a lot about like the um, the inner child work and, you know, what is it, Shauna? Not tapping into your inner child, but it's. What part? There's <laughs> a lot to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, like. Recognizing like- it and co- uh, creating a relationship with him or her. So right. that you can um, take yourself, so that in your adult life, you can definitely know that you're on your purpose and you're working and rocking your zone of genius out. And sometimes we have to tap back into our inner child to discover where that spark is. Is that where you're leading, Jeanette? Yeah. Where that spark is and how to do it. But we have to be able to recognize it and be okay with going in deep. And so I, I'm with little Shauna every day of the week we always <laughs> kicking it so hence the party <laughs> hence having fun all the time that's what she loves to do that's where she lives at she makes sure that I understand that everything that I do has to have that so that's part of my zone of genius so yeah that's all part of it it's all part of it 
Yeah, I love that. And this might be a good time, Shauna, for you to talk about your upcoming workshops. I mean, by the time this airs, I think your workshop is coming up. Maybe <laughs> Don't that mind if I do. <laughs> that following weekend. So this yep. airs on a Monday. I so love this, this space. And the following weekend, you have the workshop, the inner child workshop. And then you have another one coming up at the end of February. So I want, want to give you a little bit of time to talk about that. Yes, you know, right? thank you. And we'll, thank we'll put you. the links in the show notes as well. Yes, because the links are actually actually ready and you can purchase your ticket. So the first one is February 6th. Mm -hmm. It's a Saturday from 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is my Miss Mess Socks workshop. So this is a repeat of what I did after I launched my book. It's adult version. It's a two and a half hour workshop. And this one starts with embarking on owning who you are, bringing out your greatness. It's a self-discovery journey. And it's a kind of an introduction to really pausing and connecting and paying attention to what, what is your inner self really speaking to you that you feel you should be doing in your life and really tapping into that, recognizing the voice of the inner critic versus the inner mentor and also developing a relationship or rekindling a relationship with your inner child. So that's the first workshop. The second workshop is on February 27th. It's called Zone of Genius. Mm -hmm. This workshop is, is a, a nice in-depth. Now that we've recognized all of those things, now we're going to try to find out what's your zone of genius? What do you have that's so unique and different that you do that no one else does it like you? It's a blueprint of your major strength it's like it's like an internal natural superpower that you have that no one else has and once you start discovering all the different forms of zone of geniuses you can start implementing that more and more into your life and then it will lead you to a much happier life because you are now operating through your zone of genius so that one's much more in depth it's february 27th okay. and that is 9 a.m to 3 p.m eastern standard time with lunch breaks and breaks in between dance parties <laughs> dance parties in between <laughs> awesome so that's part two so it's highly it's recommended two. that they do the first um the first one first okay or, yeah so definitely so we'll make sure we note that in the show notes that the first one on february 6th is a kind of a prerequisite of sorts to yes. the zone of genius yes. perfect thank yes. you yes so yeah. Linda, what does embodying your fuego look like for you for the year you're not oh, getting away. Goodness. Oh, I'm not getting away. <laughs> you should go try. You know, I you know, you know I'm like, oh, next question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, know, man. Oh, man, for me, this, I mean, this is unprecedented for me, just being able to be home a little more with family and also, you know, just really investing in myself, not, not necessarily money stuff, but just pouring into me with workshops, yes. with connections. So one of the things that when you were speaking, Shauna, about zone of genius, I feel like my zone of genius is a word that I chose in 2019. My word for 2019 was connections. So connecting people, mm -hmm. just seeing, that lights me up. I love being around people. I love, even on the Zoom calls, cracking a joke or two. I think so we good were at in it. the parenting lounge the other day and someone made a comment about, you know, a certain vendor being in a, a, one of the famous stores that we know. I'm like, they're in there. So that took my material. <laughs> Shoot, mad about that. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute, Starbucks is in Walmart? Nah, that was yeah, my, that that was so my funny. material. Anyway, <laughs> did, that just brings me like so much joy, just making people laugh and just really the connection. So how we met, right? Yes. And then, you know, we have some other, you know, people that we know who are in different communities and how I'm connected with them. Yes. And then the connections just kind of just kept I love coming. it. I love so. all the communities that we're a part yeah. of. I love that we work out together. You know, I love that we, we are participating in other communities. Um, because I feel like we learn so much about, I, we learn more and more about each other every day. You can never know about a person all the way through and through, mm -hmm. never in this lifetime you could. And I love that we do have overlapping communities the way we do, because we do learn something different from each other. And it just strengthens the connection um, that we have even more. And you are very gifted in that without a doubt. Thank and you, you can you. see yourself light up when you even just, you know, talk about it. So that's part, yeah. 
And there's Thank so many you. different zone of geniuses. Yeah, I love I love that part. I mean, just, you know, everything from Island Beats to Sacred Conversations to the Parenting Lounge to the Inner Circle. It's just, I see myself in a role of sorts that, oh, okay, but I'm over here too in a work environment. If something goes haywire at work, my, even my supervisor will say, I need you to kind of do the PR for this because blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yes. I, mean, I get. He said, you just get so excited. I'm like, yeah. And I, I didn't realize that more so until this past year. He's like, I kind of need a little bit of, you know, that, what did he say? What word did he use? I'm trying to remember what he said. He said, I kind of need that people, you know, you're, you're hurting the cats, but, you know, make you're softening things a little bit. And my previous supervisor, he used to tell me that um, I smoothed out all his rough edges and we Aww. still talk about it today. Like if something happens, I'm gonna, I'll wow. say, okay, great. So here's how we're going to go forward. You know, right. so it's sort of that. So I really think oh, what a great combining that. So, yeah. And that just shows how we all are puzzle pieces, right? You know, mm -hmm. you have a, a gift or talent that will complement mine and so forth, right? Hence the heart of chat, you yeah. know, yeah. is yeah. an example okay. of three powerhouses, right? Mm -hmm. We're interlocked, interconnected, and we use our zone of genius to create something that lights us, all three of us up. It's very, we're very passionate about mm -hmm. it. And we're like on fire, you know, it's, it's, it gives us, we're doing fuego work together. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, that's how your, your life should be. It, all the yeah, time exactly i love that shana and i i think i knew that before but life gets in the way and things get so crowded you get bogged down with certain things but i would say like in the middle of quarantine or right maybe right shortly after it started i started to recognize it even more even in dark times last year and yes. crazy things happened but i still felt like okay maybe i need to work on this a little bit more to sort of pull this out and so that's my that's going to be my fuego and that's what i'm embodying <laughs> Yay. Yay. All right. So I think one of our last things we were going to talk about too was um, working our passion, putting that work in. What will we tell the folks out there? They've heard sort of our three perspectives on embodying our fuego, what our words are for the year. How do you work that passion as we talked about a little bit earlier? So for me, um, I don't know, like I'm a person that just kind of likes to do what feels right. You know what I mean? So like, you know, a couple of years ago, photography was, was the passion. It was it. I loved it, but it led me down a path to other things. It brought out other skills that I had. And um, ultimately it wasn't really about like being a photographer or web designer. For me, it, my passion is to help people. And to like, sometimes people just need someone else to believe in what they believe in, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? To believe mm -hmm. that they're capable of achieving the things that they want to achieve. So that's kind of like my passion is just to like root for people and to like, you know, just be there to support and listen to, you know, the things that they're saying and then to help them believe in their, their selves as well. Mm -hmm. um, just like to encourage people that way. So for me, like my passion your passion is deeper than that tangible thing that you can produce yes. for people. Um, it's really tied into like the feeling. Yes. I love that. Of like how you make people feel or how they feel or like how are you solving their problem deeper than just like, you know, I need a mug to put my coffee in. Yes. But this mug makes me feel good because it's the life with the view. Yay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a constant reminder of, you know, the things that, you know, you've overcome, that you've done, and um, just something that you can hold in your hand and be proud of yourself every time you look at it. So, um, yeah, so that, that's, that's my passion. And then, like, how I work it is I just kind of go with it. Like, however, I need to show up for people and bring that out in different areas of work that I do, then, then that's what I'll do. And you do that so great. And I want to go back to a Marco Polo that Shauna left recently about this same, this very same topic about Jeanette. And Shauna said, yeah, Linda and I do this part pretty good, but Jeanette is the master of it. Do you remember this, Shauna? Yes. Yes. You and that's what Zona kid. Genius is, is three people can do the same job, but there's something in 
one, each one of you or that one person for that particular job that just puts a silver lining on it. It just, it's, and it's so natural and effortlessly and it comes out with ease. And we all have it in different facets, but what we were referring to, Jeanette had that down pat. (laughs) And as she was speaking right now, I was just thinking about, because Jeanette is working with me with my rebranding to take Shauna Hibbets to a whole nother level for 2021. And I'm actually watching her evolve into this empowerment business coach. Mm -hmm. And she's so intuitive and she knows exactly what words to say, what direction to steer me in. If I have questions about certain things are part of the brand, she's, she, and it's, it just flows so effortlessly. So I'm so happy that she is stepping into that area of her zone of genius as well. Yes. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah. When I heard that, I was like, oh, for sure. Like, (laughs) I can't wait. No brainer. Hello. I'm so happy, you know, baby Kobe is coming and all that, but I'm like thinking, hmm, April, May time frame. (laughs) I need to be be doing some things with Kobe. Bye, it's my turn. Yes, I think it's so right. timely because, you know, with Shauna's workshops and really digging into my mismatched socks and then the zone of genius, which is the end of February. And then give Jeanette a little time, baby Kobe, if you need me to hold you for a minute while right. Jeanette and I work on some things, I can do that. Right. Um, and so, so it's just sort of, look, I'm looking towards the future and um, also working with Jeanette in that aspect because, yeah. You you just have it in this area and a lot of areas, I think, which we love. So awesome. I love this well, year. Done. Fuego has kicked the door down already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. Any um any, I guess, call to action for our heartbeats and our listeners? Like what um what what's one thing that you would give them as this, you know, kicking off this year and when, whenever they kick it off, right? Because like Jeanette said earlier, sometimes your your years maybe stop in October, may not start till like February, March, and we're all in different times and writing our visions and such. What's one call to action that you would bring forward or ask of our audience? I would start with following your intuition. I like what Jeanette said earlier. Um, passion is really all about a feeling, how you feel on the inside. And how are you serving humanity? What do you want to, how do you serve humanity with your gifts and talents? Even Mm -hmm. if that's within your family, you know, whatever that means to you, how are you serving that? How does that make you feel? And I also want to add that as you work your passion and you find and you possess it, it's okay if it evolves. I've been going through so much involvement over the last year is ridiculous. And I've had to embrace involvement and not get caught up with the outcome and realize that the bigger picture here is that I'm doing legacy work. What do I want to be known for? What do I want to leave behind? What kind of imprint do I want my family to be so proud of me for? So yeah, find your passion and rock it out. It doesn't matter what it is as long as you're happy with it. That's excellent. I love that. Follow your intuition. Mm-hmm. Jeanette, what about you? Call to action for our listeners. Um, I would say um, just don't get caught up in thinking that because your goal this year is to get more rest mm-hmm. or because your goal is to spend more time with your family that is somehow less important than someone who wants to earn six figures because you have to recognize where you are and what you actually need. Like it's going to be these nagging things that keep popping up and give you anxiety. And like, that's where you probably should really um, listen to yourself when it, you know, when it's telling you what you, what you need, right. Rest. If you need to learn, maybe it's a year to like educate yourself on something Mm -hmm. and to grow that way. So um, in, in the words of all of our words for the year, um, find joy in everything you do and be grateful. Surrender to where you are right now and let it flow with ease. Hey, 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 hey. hey that's what I'm talking about, Mr. Dick. Empowerment coach, baby. Yes. Yeah, that needs to be a clip. Okay, I might have to steal that clip. That's going in a post. That's going in a ASAP. post, a clip. Uh, everything yes awesome. Wonderful, love, that. love that and I, I would say to add to that I was going to say something similar about joy mm-hmm. so if you have a word if you have a phrase if you're doing something and embodying something do it with joy evolve with joy surrender with joy 
let it flow with joy. So add joy to everything you do. So whatever word you have, I saw a lot of words this year. Courageous is another word that I saw from some folks. So be courageous with joy. So think about that, adding joy either to the front or to the end or to the middle of what you're doing, what you're involved in. And, and you'll find that your perspective may change yes. on how your outlook is. Yes. I'm going to say something and y'all going to, I know you Sean's going to fall over when I say it, but Uh-oh. that piece of adding joy to the end of everything and um, not feeling woe is me is very powerful. <laughs> Where the confetti button? Boop, 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 boop. Confetti, on here. confetti for everybody. It is. It is very powerful. And um, because you don't want to like be disgruntled, like when you're doing something or feeling like it's a hardship on you. Yes. Um, like, oh, you know, yeah. okay, I'm going to surrender, but whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Yes. I was listening to a song by Miguel. Mm. All I want is you. And in there, he has a line that says, regret is exhausting. Mm. Yes. Love Miguel. Got time to live there. Yeah. Regret is exhausting. Right. Like, and, and that's where you will lead yourself to if you don't pull in the reins and try to stay in that mindfulness of the joyfulness and the gratefulness with everything that you do. Yes. Yes. I love that. This is such a great awesome. first episode of our season two, ladies. You yeah. too. So I yeah. think there's a whole lot of. That is not sound a sound effects machine. That is Shauna. <laughs> it does sound like a sound effects machine. Oh. Yes. So Shauna, I the love year it. of yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Speaking of that, that's a book we're going to be reading, yep. ladies and gentlemen, yes. for the Heart of Chat. Sort of our kicking off our year. Love, love, love that. So by the time this airs, we probably we're rereading it, right, ladies? We've yeah, all read it. Individually. Read it. Yeah. So but we're, we're going to read it collectively now. That's going to be awesome. So I will definitely add that to the show notes as well. And before we go, let's make sure we tell people about our journal and our mug and our shop and soon to be some other surprises coming very, very soon in the near, near future. And Shauna, do you want to tell everybody else or everyone where to find us, how they can connect with us and all of the great things? Yes, you can visit us at our website at the Heart of Chat. We are on IG, YouTube, Facebook. Twitter. (laughs) Twitter. You can tell how often I visit Twitter. (laughs) Twitter. Well, on Twitter. All day. Yes. Oh, yeah. She loves Twitter. Yeah. I love that you love Twitter for the heart of chat, too. Thank you. <laughs> you can find us at all those avenues and make sure you're on our mailing list so you can get a meatful every meatful Monday. You'll get a new episode dropping. We are in season two. And please come back next week, baby, because it's going to be Fuego, baby. Yeah. Come back. Yeah. <laughs> right, this is great, ladies. Bye, ladies. Bye. Bye.